All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to get all praise and glory, honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahakudash, Raka. I'd like to say double honor to the Elsa Apostles of Great Millstone and peace and salutation to the African that's pushing this word of truth and sincerity, all right? Yeah, I ran into this article, man. It said the Huffington Post. So the Lord ain't playing, man, with you Jakes, man, all right? <clears throat> it says, um, graphic video, Florida man flung from car during horrific toll plaza crash. Okay, I'm going to read the article. I'm going to play the video, too. It says, a Florida man managed to survive a horrific crash at a toll plaza in which he was flung from the vehicle in a scene that was caught on surveillance video. Amaz amazingly, he survived the June, 3 ex June, the June 3rd accident. It says, footage from the toll plaza in St. Cloud, just south of Orlando, shows a car slam into a barrier, ejecting a 25-year-old passenger. He flies through the air and lands motionless next to one of the toll booths. So you can see right here, man, he got flung out of his car, man. Right here, see him right by the toll booth right here. Okay. 20 feet, it says, roughly 20 feet away. Okay, you see it right here. It says... <clears throat> The driver and four passengers, including the man, was ejected, were all treated at a hospital and released. <clears throat> According to WESH and NBC affiliate in Orlando, it says the extent of injuries are not clear. It says Fox 13 in Miami said the driver, 23-year-old Stephen Dos Santos, okay, he had to be a, he got to be a Ephraimite or either a, a Asherat or whatever, okay? Because you know he, he is Israel, right? The Jake. It says, was fatigued at the time of the accident inside. Edition said he was cited for careless driving and that police do not believe drugs or alcohol played a role. It says the passenger was not identified. It says watching this video is, is proof that get it behind the wheel of a vehicle vehicle while fatigued and drowsy can he can have can have dangerous and sometimes deadly consequences. Cause if he was drowsy, he had to be taking some type some type of drug or something, man. Some sleep pills or something, man. Alright. It says the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicle wrote on Facebook and said the agency is urging motorists to not to hit the road without proper sleep. So, so yeah, well, it could be that. It could be, you know, take something to make you drowsy. So, man, if you driving, man, you just can't be taking, you know, sleeping pills or either things that make you go to sleep and go on the road and drive, man. You can't do that, all right? It says the HC is urging motorists to not to hit the road without proper sleep. It says if you have, if you are having difficulty focusing Frequent blinking or heavy eyelids pull over in a safe place to rest before continuing to try. The department wrote, "Yeah, man, that's 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 uh <clears throat> that's Jake being stubborn, man. <clears throat> Proud and shit, man. All right. Oh, I got this type shit. Okay. It says, and a study released by AAA earlier this year blamed drowsy drivers." For up to 10% all auto accidents. So, man, you never know, man. Um, it could be, you know, sleeping pills or type of drug that make you go to sleep playing this role too, man. All right. It says drowsy driving is a bigger traffic safety issue than, than federal estimates show. David Yang, executive director for the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety said in a news release drivers who don't get enough sleep are putting enough put so like you're putting everyone on the road at risk so basically man you got you got people man that that's careless you know what I'm saying it's a careless society that we live in man that you know just doing all kind of shit you know what I'm saying unintentionally okay so I'm gonna play this video real quick So 
you know, I was trying to block, man, playing these dumbass commercials. It was a quiet scene at the school plaza on Florida State Road 91 until this happened. Oh, a see that? Cadillac slammed into a barrier, sending debris and one of its passengers flying. The unidentified 25-year-old man landed next to a car in the adjoining lane. At first, the other drivers and toll plaza employees don't realize what happened. Miraculously, the man survived, though the full extent of his injuries is unknown. The Florida Highway Patrol said the car's driver was cited for careless driving. It was believed that he was asleep and that neither drugs nor alcohol was involved. Crash remains under investigation. Be sure to watch Inside Edition. Right, con, cause um, that's um, that's basically man, ju judgment of the Lord, man. Okay. Let me get out the shit before anything start to pop up. Um, let's see if I can go back. Yeah, man, that, that's that. There ain't nothing but judgment of the Most High. Okay, and there's another video that shows too about drivers you driving responsible for almost ten percent of crashing. Okay, but I ain't gonna play a video for those that want to um, watch the other video. All right, but um, I'm gonna go to the scriptures real quick. You know, improve this the most high, man. You know, the Lord is doing all this, man. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's go to Deuteronomy. Thirty-two, thirty-nine. This is Deuteronomy thirty-two, thirty-nine. It says, "See now that I, even I, am He. There is no power with me." Okay. So the Lord, the Lord, you how about shy? You know, He don't have no other gods with Him, man. Okay. Okay. He don't only, He don't only ultimate power. I kill, and I make a lie. So when that accident happened, when he got flown 20 feet out of his car, the Lord made him alive, man. He could have killed him, man. Okay? He spared his life. I wound. Did he get wound? Did he hit his head on the booth? Of course. And I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So did he, he didn't get delivered while crashing. Okay? When he hit that, when he, when he, he was at the uh, Togo Plaza, he crashed, he flown out 20 feet, okay? So the Lord, he do all these things, man, okay? He, 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 he have the angels fly your ass out the car 20 feet and, and smack you towards the um, booth, man, okay? The Lord, the Lord do all these things, man, okay? So, so basically you never know. He must, he must be wicked. And the Lord must have, you know what I'm saying, uh, judged him, okay? You know what I'm saying? So the Lord judged him, man. <laughs> um, let's go to uh, 1 Samuel 2 and 6. First Samuel 2 and 6, he said, the Lord killeth. Okay, the Lord can put you to death, man. Okay, and make up a lie. The Lord can keep you alive, but at the same time, He can He can He can mess you up, man, and keep you alive, man. Cause the way He flew out that car, He could have been dead by now, man. And He bring him down to the grave and bring him up. So the Lord, man, He controls. He control everything, man. He controls you getting fucked up. He controls you getting shot, beat up. He controls all that, man. You know, the Lord sanctioned that. He sanctioned death. He sanctioned wounds. He sanctions, you know what I'm saying, uh, injuries and all that, man. The Lord sanctions all that, man. Okay? So, yeah, man, the Lord is the Lord is behind all that, man. The Lord is sending judgment upon our people. Okay? And he from the northern kingdom, too. 
because most of the northern kingdom in Florida, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is the last scripture right here. Um, let's go to Hebrews 10 and 30. Real quick. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. It says, For we know him that have said, Vengeance belong unto me. I will recompense, saith the Most High, and again, the Most High shall judge his people. It says, It is a fearful thing to fall in the, into the hands of the living power. So it is a fearful thing to fall, to, in, you know what I'm saying, in, into the hands of the living power. Because you don't want the Most High to step in, man. Okay? Because when the Most High step in, you know how about Shai step in? The Lord gonna fuck you up, period. And the Lord fucked him up, man. Cause you never know. He must be a he must be a, a, a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? He must be a, 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 a adulterer. Okay? You never know what type of life, wicked life this this guy was um, you know what I'm saying, uh, leading, man. Okay? He said, For we know him, they have said vengeance belong unto me. Okay. Vengeance belongs to the Most High, man. Okay. All right. The Lord is the King of Vengeance, man. All right. He says, "I will recompense," said the Most High, and again, the Most High shall judge His people. Though. So that's judgment that that guy got, man. Okay. So the Lord says, "A fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power." It is. It is. So. It is, man. It is a fearful thing. To fall in the hands of the living power. So that's why the guy got flown out of his car like that, man. You know, he the king of terror. <laughs> All right. You know, so it's 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 it's, it's uh it's coming back. It's a um violent crash at Florida Toll Plaza, caught on camera. So yeah, the Lord is a uh, Lord is a it's a it's a it's a, uh, it's a jealous power, man, because you never know, man. He 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 probably worshiping other guys. You never know, man. You never know. He probably adultery, mess with other people's wives and shit, smoking weed, gangbang. You never know, man. With Jake, man. That's why the Lord judged him like that, man. Okay. So with that, man, uh, this is a short lesson, man. I hope y'all was edified. All right. I like to say all praise and glory, honor to Yahweh Hashem. I was shy. All right. And uh, peace and salutations to the Optimus pushing his word, truth and sincerity. You know, and uh, double honest to the elders, man, that's teaching us this word, truth, sincerity. All right? Salah, uh, uh, Shalom.